I like this game we're playing, Bats. It's fun. Quit struggling. Resistance is futile. Welcome back to Arkham, Joker. I can assure you, you won't be escaping again. That's what you think, copper. Just take him to the room down the hall, Dark Knight. We'll take care of him. Say, what's on the menu tonight, copper? Anything good? Any gluten-free options? I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> oh, Batman. Why do we play this game? You just know I'm going to escape, and you're going to chase me, and capture me, and lock me up again, and yada yada yada. So on and so forth. It's a game we just keep on playing. It's getting so boring. Why don't we just play Monopoly? It wouldn't be so boring if you didn't keep on escaping. And stay locked up in this loony bin? Ha! <laughs> I don't belong here. I'm perfectly sane. See? Good night, Joker. Hmm. Tough crowd. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. We're going to do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Tough day, huh? Cops these days. They're always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, sweets. Have you ever had a really bad day? Well, Joker, if I may call you that, I appreciate your opening up to me. I look forward to working with you again. Going so soon, dear? I'm sorry, but I have other patients to assist to. Oh, no, no, I get it. I mean, all my life I've been abandoned. Even my own father didn't watch me when I was a kid. So why would you? Please, evaluate on this further. Oh, no, no, you have other patients to get to. I don't want to keep you. No, please. I feel like we're getting through a breakthrough here. Not to be so blunt, but other doctors here at the asylum say that you are impossible to get through. But you seem so open today. Why is that? I guess it's because for the first time in a long time, I feel like I can relate to someone. You feel like you can relate to me? With all due respect, I don't think we have much in common. Well, that's where you're wrong, Doctor. I think we have plenty in common. You just haven't seen it yet. You know, sweets, I've liked what I've heard about you. Dr. Harley and Quinzel. We work it a bit, and you get Harley Quinn. Like the clown character, Harley Quinn. I know, I've heard it before. See? You're a clown, I'm a clown. We're not so different after all, huh, Doc? Well, I guess when you put it that way. But unlike you, I haven't killed anybody. It's never too late, you know. You know, I really should be going. I'll see you tomorrow morning, all right? Have a good night, uh, Joker. Good morning. Ready for the next appointment? <gasps> Sir. Uh, good morning, Dr. Quinzel. The Joker. He's not in his room. Where is he? I'm afraid someone left his door open last night. He escaped. Escaped? But that can't be. He just got here. Well, clearly you don't know the Joker like we do. Damn. Here I was really making a breakthrough with him. We were getting really close. Close? What's that supposed to mean? I mean, in terms of getting to know him. What else could I mean? I believe you were looking for this. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Dr. Quinzel. Are you alright? They really got me this time, Harley. Oh, you poor angel. Dr. Quinzel, this behavior is highly inappropriate. I'll tell you what's inappropriate. The way you and certain vigilantes treat other people. Just who do you think you are? Treating people this way, you have no right. I'm sorry you feel that way, miss, but I'm just doing my job. Job? You're absolutely pathetic. You think what you're doing is a job? You think you're saving Gotham? You're not saving anything. You're a joke. And seriously overrated, if you ask me. How could you do this to him? He's just misunderstood. Doctor, you don't understand. He's a criminal. He's not the criminal here, Batman. You are. And the sooner Gotham figures that out, the better. Dr. Quinzel, that is far enough. I'm starting to think you should be the one locked up. Come on. You don't mean to tell me you actually side with him, do you? That's enough. How can I possibly trust you to treat these patients when you act like one yourself? You're fired. I want you off the premises immediately. Or what, you're gonna sick the Batman on me? Fine, I understand when I'm not wanted. I didn't like it here anyways. But know this, Arkham Asylum hasn't heard the last of Harley and Quinzel, and it certainly hasn't heard the last of the Joker either. You'll pay for hurting my angel, Batman. I'll make sure of it. What can I say? She's crazy about me. That's enough from you. Off to your room. What are you, my mother? Who goes there? 
Do not mess with me. I'm fully armed. <laughs> Men, a bunch of barbarians. Excuse me, miss, you're not supposed to be in here. Visiting hours are over, but if you'd like to come back tomorrow... Shut up! I'm sick and tired of you all telling me what to do. What? Dr. Quenzel, is that you? Uh-uh-uh! Sorry, Mr. J. The doctor is out. Say hello to your new and improved Harley Quinn. You clever little minx. How did you get in here? Haven't you ever heard of breaking and entering? Come on, Puddin, let's blow this popsicle stand. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Step out of the car, toots. Oh my god, please don't hurt me. If you don't want to get hurt, then do what he says. You heard the man. You have a solid ten seconds before I start shooting. Okay, I'm leaving. One, two, ten! <laughs> Way to go, Mr. J. Come on, pumpkin pie, let's get out of here. Oh, put in. It's you and me against the world, Mr. J. We're regular partners in crime. Yeah, yeah, quiet now, I'm driving. Yes, of course.